Combining all of those skills together, the art and the science, the thinking and the doing, was what resulted in the exceptional result. Okay, what I want you to do is I want you to pay attention to these 34s right here. Okay, what? Watch this battle going on in the 34 area. There's a bid that keeps reloading here that they're trying to hold 34s. Okay, they're hitting into 34s, printing 33s. All right, pay attention to this. So what's gonna happen is if we print back down here to 32s, this is gonna flush. So just pay attention, they're, see, they're, they're trying to defend this here. You can tell there's a lot of chop in this area. They're trying to hold it. Go back 34s. No real lifting right here. Look at this area, look. Reloading, reloading, and they're slamming into it, okay? So sellers right now are winning. Sellers right now are, are being more dominant. We should start seeing some prints into 33s, 32s. All right, let's see what happens here. They break 32s, we're gonna get in 32s because that's the bottom of this range, right? They break this, come back up and go. Should be a quick little scalp, probably get a couple points. Show you guys, here we go, 32 is broken, we're gonna go in, let's watch this here. You guys paying attention here? See the stall here? Okay, we got the fill at 32. We don't wanna see this back at 34s. Back at 34s, we're gonna cut this trade. Holds 32s, then we're looking for 28. 28 was an area that we talked about last time on the way up. We saw a lot of guys buying into 28, so we expect there to be some type of of, uh, of buyers coming back in here at 28. Then below 28, this thing flushes probably 25, 23. So let's pay attention right here, right? This is our line in the sand. We don't want these prints above these big prints right here. This goes up, then that, that buyer sucked in some sellers. He reloads and he takes this back up. Otherwise, this flushes. All right, so pay attention. They're hitting it. See some size coming in here? They're hitting it, they're hitting it. No real lifting right here. We're not really seeing anything. Here's 100, that's pretty good. Okay, that's got our attention. Do they do anything? Does he come back down, offer it? Buyers aren't doing much here. Sellers need to start printing into the 30s. Watch this carefully, guys. This is tape right here. This right here pays. Here we go. Watch what happens on 30s. Pay attention to this tape, man. They're putting some... They're starting to do some size here. 24 is nothing, but there was 100. There's reloading. Here we go. We'll ha watch what happens when 30s break. Size coming in here. You know, size for what our market environment is right now. All right. 30 was 28s. Boom, we got filled 28s. Under 28s, this thing is going to flush. But do you see that size right there? Do you see that size? That size that stayed right there? See? See? Now this is going to go. So what we're going to want to do now is I'm a, if this comes back down and then comes right back up, we're going to start trading 25s, 26s, and we're going to start hitting it lower, and we're going to get back into that short, right? We're going to go with this momentum. See the size coming in here? And Q's dropping as well. See? Sellers are hitting it. Sellers are hitting it. Exactly. Yes, you're correct. Yeah, no worries, bud. So you see that? So that was what, 32s to 28s. We got a quick four points, quick 200 bucks just on a little small one lot contract. So if we get into this structure right here, into these 18s to 12s, we're gonna see a little turbulence, a lot of chop right here. NQ is dropping as well, so we have, we have consistency between the ES and the NQ. So we're going to start seeing this, if this doesn't hold these 24s to 26s, we're going to see this flush and we can take another little scout, build a little trade. This could potentially even take out the low of the day. Um, pay attention to that range.
Combining all of those skills together, the art and the science, the thinking and the doing, was what resulted in the exceptional result.